It's about to be action packed, so sit back and enjoy your snacks while we keep it real. Oh, hell yeah! What's going on, really? It's your man Trey. And it's your girl Tasha. Man to the real, where we keep it real. What's that gonna take, baby? It's time. Episode on Titan. Episode 43. Sinners. The goddamn sinners. That's all y'all are, a bunch of sinners. The sins of the past are about to reveal new truths. The sins of the father. Mm. Hey, guy. Move. Hey, yeah, get away from the camera, man. But you knock some shit over. Go on over come there. On. You was just up here. Why didn't you step here? Come on. It's time to see if some of these theories are about to come to light. Oh, shit. It's time, guys. It's time. Full of tackle dang, baby. My voice so changed because I was sick a few days ago. So yeah, we've been sick. We've been sick and shit, but hey. That won't stop that tackle dang, baby. That tackle dang, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, man, let's get into it. Full <sighs> reactions are on Patreon immediately after. The, yeah, like. Well, y'all wouldn't know we got to watch it anyway, but immediately. As soon as and, we uh, watch it, they go up on Patreon. will be given immediately today, so if you get in where you fit in. Full reactions, Patreon. Let's go, y'all. Tag on Titan, baby. Oh, oh damn, some bonds type shit. Yeah, they got his mouth so he can't hurt himself. They got his hands that wrapped up. Bite his tongue. They know what they doing. Oh. Enters the version. For the sacrifice. I'm awake. Ma'am, what you mean? I'm chained up. Right. Mm, that's what he told you. Oh, you worried about it, else? So you ain't gonna worry about me or something? That's that shit they got any that any ass in. So like, what type made this place? Mm -hmm. What y'all doing? What? What the fuck? Oh! What kind of problem they got? That's their family. That's his family. The girl was a tiny. He turned. Oh, look at him. He ate his dad. He ate his dad. I told y'all. He ate his dad. Oh, shit. He ate his dad. He ate his dad. It wasn't nothing but his daddy on the left. Bro, they got a book on the sheet? Bro, why that look like? The day used to come, she used to come visit her? Oh, she probably used to come sneak and visit her on whatever form she was living on. Oh, she took away her memories. That's what they meant by the king altered everybody's memories. So they he legit went person to person and altered their memories. So if they So he must have her his dad must have eaten her and Aaron ate him. So he got her power. She dead now. <laughs> she dead. Now she's gonna feel some kind of way. Oh my god, this is the perfect story. She's gonna flip on Aaron so quick. See? He killed their whole family? Oh my god, I can only imagine how he feel right now. Damn. 
Oh, he already had it. Bitch, why, why does he look a beat type? Yes! He got hair. How? And she looked like Amy. What the fuck is going on? Oh shit. That neck me! But he looked like he already had. If you already. I'm confused. I'm gonna have to remember this thing. But can we really trust what he's saying, though? I believe him. I don't think he lied about that. What the fuck? What the fuck? That thing in his ass? That thing is in his ass. He looked like he got girl socks on and got something hanging out his ass. Oh. Oh, he put it in his mouth. What is going on with this? Bitch, wait a minute. Oh, Her daddy probably got a whole lot of Damn. Oh, shit. He already almost there. Thank you. Oh, what what is that? He quite Kenny to him as an enemy. And he is on by another Levi. Oh. 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 Yep, when he got when she got that knife. Yep. Are they bred to be like that? That's what happened they to him. When he fought them all them titans and then went Levi on that ass. Remember that shit? I remember from his own. Kenny had a moment like that. The branch family is there. Wow. Family of warriors. Oh wait, is that his? That's his granddad. You scared? I know it. So they the Uchiha's in this bitch. They the family that can't have a mind altered. That's why they scared. They remember everything. That's his uncle. Bitch, what the fuck? There you go. They cut to him. That's his uncle. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. 
He still work for the team. Like I said, maybe he don't work for him. Here we go. It so fucking seems like he do. But that's why Mika says so I wonder if that's why she's so protective of Aaron. Because it's like, it made blood to protect power. Maybe so. So what is Armin then? Because they always show them three together. Who is he? Ooh, this shit finna go out on me so mad. I knew it. I fucking knew it. He was smiling. And I knew this shit was finna go out, bro. So next episode is just finna be death. <laughs> Why do you look like he ate something? Yeah, blood on his mouth. Mm -hmm. Bitch. He ate something. He, he, he a little something. too motherfucking calm though for the shit that's going on because like the way he told that story, he didn't tell it with like no anger, you know, like Nothing. he just no, Where your sorrow. emotions at? Right. That part he just, just your emotional. whole family got murdered by somebody, but you cool though. Like he's saying that shit like I'm I'm waiting. Nah, that motherfucker like payback's a bitch. <laughs> like So this is what the fuck I figured out from this episode. Go ahead. And then I'ma tell y'all what I got questions about. For Kenny Granddaddy to tell him all this shit and knowing they done made your family outsiders, like why would you like be okay working for this dude? And then that means his story of daddy is the real king, cause that's what he keep calling him. That's why I'm guessing she would be next because she the only one left in the bloodline or whatever. Then, now, Frida's Titan looks like Ani. Unless it was just because she was a female. Maybe that's just what they look like if you have them, them kind of powers or whatever. But my whole thing was they said that Aaron's dad was a Titan. He had the power. He stole her power. Now I'm assuming he just been like maybe they she he took her body, and that's what he injected into Aaron maybe or something. I don't know, cause I'm like he already looked like he had abilities. So how he steal her too? Like I would think two people couldn't have Titan he abilities ate, in the same he body. He ate her. He ate her, but he already looked like he had an ability. That's what I'm saying. So did he have two? Yes. That, that's I didn't what think you could do that. So let's say. Like like at the end of season two's outro, you got the one lady, the big lady with the X through her. That was the one who originally probably got the Titan power first. And then you had the eight people under her. So let's just say it's nine families that have these powers. Because at first I thought they was passing them all down through one bloodline. But that's not true because none of his kids could turn but freedom. Because yeah. the, the other people couldn't defend themselves like when he turned. True. So that's I don't know where Aaron Daddy got his power from, but he had it. Frida had it, which is the rice people. And then I don't know where Annie and Bertholdt and Reiner got theirs from. That's five. Yamir, well, yeah, Yamir would have made six. So that means it's still like th two or three more other people out there that can turn Hold into up. Titans and. Call them out again. Okay, Yamir stole somebody's ability. That's how she came back as a Titan. Like, that's how she turned she back. She ate Rainer and Bert Hart friend. friend. Right. And then, so you got Rainer after that. Mm -hmm. Bert, Annie, that's four. Aaron. That's five. And then, who else? I'm missing somebody. You got the Beast Titan. Okay. So it's still like three, two or three people out there that got abilities that we ain't seen yet. So somebody's still lying or they outside the wall is one way. It's something like that. So does Aaron have two abilities if he's ate his dad and his dad stole the power from the girl? Because he has the screen, mm -hmm. which controls the Titan. But he also, like, they just touched him. Like, I don't know if that's a Titan ability or if that just runs through their bloodline to alter people's memories. But this is the confusing part. What? The Beast Titan controlled the other Titans last season. He told them to stop. Yeah. But he, he used words. He didn't use a string last season. He told them to stop. And they did it. And then he said, then he told them, yeah, y'all can go ahead. I know that part. But that's so what, That's what make me think that him and Aaron is related. Because now you got, you got, he looked like uh, Aaron's dad in Titan form. He just got hair everywhere. Yeah. And then he could do a, a, a Titan ability that's similar to Aaron's. Now, Aaron's Titan don't have no hair, so that's why I'm assuming he got the girl's power. 
But like this is the crazy part that night. But like how how long was it before? How long was it? Okay, the the dude that we saw at the end of last season that looked like the beast type. Yeah, when we saw him, he looked like Aaron Dad. That's yeah, and like, like he, but he's so much older. How much older is he? But you gotta remember, if Dad, if Aaron Dad been a Titan, ain't no telling how long. You True. know what I'm saying? And like you know what, it does make sense because Aaron was younger when that happened, when he got his powers. And yeah, he was young because that younger. happened when the walls fell. All that shit happened the same, like around the same time. I think all that happened the same night. Cause when Hundred did her report, she was like five years ago when the wall fell, or however many years ago when the wall fell. She was like that stuff at the church happened the same night. So you you gotta realize that when the first season started and they showed the Titan break the walls, Aaron Daddy had dipped just before then. But he had to have come back though. When he I'm, did when he came and got Aaron. That's the thing. Now I don't know how he knew he was alive or not. Cause you remember they house got destroyed. The mama was dead, yeah. and um, what's his name? Hanes took them. Yeah. So I don't know how he found them. Cause he took him by himself yeah. in the middle of the night, and then did all this shit. So, so he took him after it went that. too long after the shit happened. So he must have just I don't know. No, he had to take him after that because he left. If I'm remembering this right, he left. He had to come back in that little span that yeah, they didn't show. Back. But if he was really a Titan, it wouldn't matter if he came back or not because he could defend himself. That's the thing. Like, it didn't matter about that. And see, that's the thing, too. Like, he... I'm wondering if Aaron Dance could have controlled Titans because when Hunji did her little report last week, she's the, first, the last thing she mentioned was it was strange that no Titans were around when all this happened. Like, all that noise and them people would have brought other Titans. So, obviously, he must have been able to... You know, tell them to leave him alone or do Hence whatever. why the Beast Titan can control Titans. His, maybe his ability, I don't know. maybe he can control them anyway. I feel like each Titan has their own different kind of abilities or whatever. So, it's some that we missing. Like, I get that. Yeah. Because it's two or three we missing this, something. If it's nine Titan abilities, and then the thing that's confusing me is, was Aaron Dad, did he already have a certain type of ability before he ate Frida? Like, before he got Frida? Yeah. That's what I don't understand or not. Because... Yeah, he had to because he could turn. Like he turned himself into one. He didn't he wasn't already one. So he had to have an ability too. Question is where his came from. We don't know where he got his ability. But he said he we still gotta go to the basement. So I'm still I'm assuming like we're gonna get the daddy side of the story in the basement. Exactly. We only getting his, his story side. and dad uh side of, of the shit. What's his name? Because Rod? What's yeah. Rod? But that man, I like Aaron Dad, so that just goes to show you though, like What's going on that he ain't telling us? And then the whole Beast Titan thing, yeah. they obviously related to Aaron. We gonna assume that that's his brother maybe, but it could be somebody else related. Yeah, could, but the, could when be he was brother. off the Beast Titan at the end of the last season, he looked just like, Grant, what's his name, Grisha? I don't know how to say it. Dr. Sure. Yeager, I'm gonna call him yeah. Daddy Yeager. He looked just like Daddy Yeager, except he had blonde hair. And then we just seen Daddy Yeager's be, uh, form, he looked like a beast titan too. He just ain't have hair everywhere. Yeah. So, Frida, now Frida looked like Annie. I don't know if they got anything to do with each other or if it's just how female titans look when they have abilities or whatever, but she looked like Annie with black hair. She got eaten. Then the the Rice family, now I wonder if her if his story is dead as a titan or not because I think in the flashback, he was hiding or something, right? Yeah, he was running. He was hiding. He didn't like turn or try to fight or do anything. So, my thing, if they pass certain stuff down, I'm assuming they pass down the mind-altering ability. And one person in their family is, is a Titan. Because she was the only one who turned to defend them and everybody else got murdered. He squished them out. Ooh, that, that was horrible. I don't know if that was rage or intentional, but that was horrible. Um, we know that the Ackermans guard the royal bloodline. They minds can't be altered, which is why they're, the king is scared of them. Mm -hmm. And it's a couple other families like whoever. Now I want to know the dude name who had the thing in his ass upside down <laughs> because he royal too, and it don't affect him because he keeps telling like he told Zachary, "You won't even remember how to shit when we get through with you or some shit like that." Now I wonder who he related to. What about Armin? I said that too because all them like even in the intro, they always show Armin, Mikasa, and Eren together. 
Now, Mikasa, I'm saying her connection is to Aaron because he has, like, a power. And I just feel like her shit was awakened because of whatever happened. You know, like, he was trying to protect her or whatever. So, she feel protected. But for them to always show Armin, and y'all gotta gotta remember, Armin's smart as fuck. Like, that makes me think. Now, I was sometimes, I used to think that Erwin and Armin would be related, but I don't know. Because they all kind of have the same hair. They all kind of smart. You know what I'm saying? His dad was a teacher. Sometimes I be thinking they related, but I don't know. And you know, like, they just don't know that. Yeah. But, I don't know. So, it's just a lot. I'm trying to see what I'm missing. So, we do know for a fact that Mikasa, Levi, and Kenny are related in some form or fashion. Maybe. Yeah. Now, you I like, feel Mikasa like, maybe is like that cousin. Like, yeah. you know, you do have those second and third, that second cousin. Like, your nearest relative would be your great-grandparents. So that would make y'all like second cousins or cousins, whatever you want to say it. So maybe she's just Levi and Kenny's cousin, or you know what I'm saying? Probably, but whoever, but she from the Branch family. I don't know if that means she's like, like Deji. Like yeah, like she was from like if they were still like guarding the king, she would have been up there. Like they would have been treated a certain kind of way, like royalty almost. If she from the Branch family, but. I'm Shit. trying to think of like all these people that they showing as main characters gotta be either related or important in some kind of way. So that's what I'm like. But the thing that's killing me is the questions I have. Like I have to do stuff and I have questions. Now the questions I have is where is Aaron's dad really from? He gotta be from outside the walls because if him and the Beast Titan are related, the Beast Titan didn't know that they had 3D maneuvering gear. They don't live inside the walls. Yeah. Cause I remember when he killed Mike, he took it with him. So, my thing is, like, how old are you? Like, were you around when all this shit happened? And then you ended up changing because you found somebody? Or what? Because that's weird for, like, the Beast Titan, Aaron's dad, and Aaron to all be, like, all have powers like that. That means you all had to find somebody to eat. Like, that's all, like, real close. Yeah. So, what if they, like, so what if Aaron's dad is older than we realized? Like, maybe he was around, like, when, uh, Yamir was around. Like, she spent that 60 yeah. years. Yeah, maybe so. That's what I'm trying to figure out because if they related, that means he had a whole nother family before he came inside the walls and was Aaron's dad. So that's confusing me on, like, how old he is and where he got his ability and what are your connections outside the wall. Then my other question would be, is Roy Rice really telling the truth? Now, I think I kind of believe him. I don't think he lied to about agree. how his family died. But I still feel like he hiding something because he seems from outward appearance like a coward because if you notice the scene from where he turned and his family got killed you ain't trying to help your family at all you was hiding you were running yeah you ran but when you told the <coughs> story like you weren't angry or like sad like you didn't have any emotions either like why are you going through this so it's like something about him is like off to me and what other question did I have yeah I do have a question I still have questions about Armin like is he important to the story or whatever like that because they do like i think that could have been his parents that were in the hot air balloon that tried to leave outside the walls because he always talked about what was outside the walls like how you know what's outside the walls like where your family get all this information from what else i had a question about i know people gonna die next week though and that's gonna be horrible people gonna die whether it's on our side or their side because they ready though they up on the stands they look like about 30 people plus candy ass and we only got like how many? Eighteen, maybe at the most. Who we got? Sasha, Cunny, Armin, Mikasa, Levi, Hanji, and uh, Jean. Is that it? Did I leave anybody out? So it's like seven people, bro, against all them folks. So somebody might. I don't know. Somebody might be deceased. I hope not. I feel like Jean or Cunny would die before anybody else would. Cause they they showed them, but they not like. There, there. Now, what's the other guy thing uh, that like to eat? Um, the girl? Yeah. Or guy? Oh, Sasha? Yeah, she might die. I don't think Sasha gonna die. But, hey, y'all, look, we, we going on and on. I know we've been talking for probably like 30 minutes. Yeah, extra. I don't know how long we've been talking. I be like, I have to go back because sometimes I'll forget stuff. You get so excited when you see yeah. it. So, but I know for sure when I'm editing, I'm going to watch the beginning scene by scene when they touch Aaron to give him the memories. I want to go through that scene by scene to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. But from this episode, I have picked up that Ackermans are supposed to guard the royal family. That's why they kind of like 
are awakened at some point. I'm assuming when they're, when they're threatened. Um, I've deduced that the beast type is related to Aaron and his dad. What else did I deduce from this episode, from all this knowledge dropping? That this is just a fucked up word. That people are outside the walls, living a regular ass life, probably with no titans if, you know what I'm saying, they keep coming in trying to fuck up y'all shit. Like, I don't know. It's something, like, I wouldn't think that Aaron and Dan was Asian, though. Because, you know, when you say it was two families, when he said it was two families that turned their back on the royal family, the Ackermans and the Asian people, I'm wondering, like, did some of them try to get revenge, and that's why they coming back, like, y'all making titans inside the wall and trying to do all this, but I don't know. Look, y'all, we're going to get up out of here. Y'all stay up. Y'all stay real. More Attack on Titan coming y'all way. Full reactions on Patreon. Yes, yes. It's your man Trey. And it's your girl Tasha. Man to the real, man. Y'all stay real with that attack on Titan, baby. You already watched, so you might as well subscribe. Please.